and welcome to Shauna's Dream Life. I'm Shauna. Today we are going to be doing a craft project. Some of the items that you're going to need are a grapevine wreath. You can find these at the Dollar Tree. As a matter of fact, everything that I use in this project today has come from the Dollar Tree. So you'll need a wreath, some jute trine twine or natural twine, ribbon of any color that you like and any width, some colorful wood beads, and scissors. What we're going to be making is called a, hmm, let's see, what would it be called? Not a wind chime, a, a wind catcher. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is open up your ribbon and cut it to the desired length. What I did was I decided this is going to be two-sided, so it's actually going to hang like this. So what I done was I stretched it out about an arm's length. My chair's moving. About an arm's length like this. And then I decided that I wanted to go a little bit shorter than that. And then just cut. Do that for all of your ribbon. And you are going to need quite a bit of ribbon for this. You can also use yarn, if you, colorful yarn, uh, bits of fabric that you may have. You can also use... Um, let's see, yarn, fabric, scarves. I have used scarves for this. So you can actually see hanging behind me, I have a contraption set up to hold some of the yarn that I've already pre-cut just for Tom's sake. And these can be different sizes, the way you cut the yarn. It doesn't all have to be the same size. I think that that actually makes it a little bit nicer when it's not as uniform. It gives it more of a bohemian um, crafty look to me. And I really, really like that. So I've got my ribbon cut. Now, the next thing that I did was I opened up, I got two packages of these because I wasn't sure how many I would need, but I opened the package and I just dumped them all in a little bucket just to make it a little bit easier to see. I have different size ribbon that I used. I have some smaller pieces of ribbon that are quite a bit smaller in width. And I took these pieces of ribbon and I just fed them through the holes of the wood beads, like so, and then just knotted. And I done this for both ends. Now, because I have spent the last hour unknotting, the ones that I had previously done because I was sitting on the couch watching YouTube while I was doing that. I would suggest actually tying the ribbon onto the wreath first to keep it from getting as tangled, but you're going to have something that looks <clears throat> like this. 
And then what you're going to do is you're going to create a slip knot. So you're going to take your ribbon, fold it in half, put your hands through the hole, come around, reach through, see how that's going through there, and then just pull it tight. And you're going to have something that looks like this. And it's okay if it starts to move around. You can also make these shorter, like I said. So you can have different lengths of yarn. So you're going to take this, wrap it around, pull it through, and tighten. Now, as you can see, this one, what I did was I made this side just a little bit shorter as I pulled it through. It can easily be adjusted. Now, if you want, you can also tie a knot, but I don't know. I may want to repurpose this eventually, so I thought a slip knot would be the perfect solution for this. So, I'm going to finish putting the rest of the ribbon on here really quickly or as quickly as I can and then we will show you how to hang it with the jute twine. Okay and we're back. So what I have done is I have took different types of ribbon that I had laying around the house that I had found at the Dollar Tree from scrap projects or just that I had bought for crafting projects and things like that and I tied them all onto my wreath with just a simple slip knot. Some of them you can see will have these wooden beads attached to the bottom and some I just left dangling. I didn't want beads on those. So at this point you have a couple of choices. You can leave it as is with just the bottom half and let it be like this. Or if you want it to hang like this, then you can go all the way around your wreath and then you can attach your ribbon or your a piece of your scrap ribbon that you had left over or your jute twine and you can attach it on either side and bring it up to where it makes a point and then place that on the hook. For me, I'm going to leave it hanging just like this. And then I am going to take, I think instead of doing the jute twine for mine, I think I'm going to use a piece of this lace ribbon that I have. And it's really simple. What you're going to do is you're going to do another slip knot. on the top of your wreath, like so. And then you got this like this, okay? So then what you're gonna do is take the two pieces and then just create a knot. Maybe give yourself a little bit more room than that. And then pull that through and tighten it up. Just like that. And then it's ready to hang on a hook from your ceiling or from just about anywhere. You can hang this flat up against the wall if you wish to, or you can hang it on some kind of a hook from the ceiling to catch the wind or to catch rays of light that shines through. And if you do want to create something that sits like this, you just do the exact same thing on either side, but you'll have to have a hook um, to either do both sides to keep it kind of flat, or you can do bring it up to the point to hang from the hook. But I really like this. 
it's just a fun little bohemian bohemian wind catcher. I hope you guys enjoyed this project and let me know if you guys tried this out and how it worked for you. Maybe if you tried something different, let me know. I may go back and no, I like this the way it is. I may go back and try your suggestions though if I like them. So make sure to hit the like button if you liked this video and make sure to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.